Hello everyone, I am Abhijit, a final year medical student from GMC Nagpur and in this video I am going to tell you how I studied for my surgical post and exams. Let's start with the basics. As this is your go-to book for the surgery post and exams, I did use Manipal a bit but I did not find it that useful so I shifted back to yes thus. I have divided my studies into topics for the first read, for the revisions and short revision from that book called Patil and Thakkar. First of all, there are these topics that I have never read from the book. So the first reading of this is compulsory. That's why it has two stars. That is the highest priority. Second is the revision of all the important topics from Asdas. Each bubble denotes a chapter and I need to tick all these bubbles by tomorrow. And lastly, the summary book, which is a maybe, maybe or maybe not. I am still confused about doing it. So, kal dekh lenge. So this is how I'll study. Now let's go to the important topics in Asdas and they are these. Other than these important topics, all the topics that you are taught in your postings throughout the month are also important. Now let's see how to read this book. The first reading of a chapter is all about understanding and marking things. But doing it blindly is going to cost a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is match my reading speed with the time limit. Here's how you do it. First of all, check how fast you can read. For example, for me, I can read one page that is a single part in about two to three minutes. And this chapter is of 20 pages. So I'm sure that I can finish it in about 40 to 60 minutes. I'll set the lower limit as 40 minutes and put on a timer on my mobile and try to finish it in that way. It's sort of a fun game which helps you keep discipline with ourselves because that's the most important part in studies. It's just like any other book except for one point. The clinical examination is better understood if you do it on the patient or your friend, whoever is available. Now let's address an important question. Is anatomy necessary for the surgery post and exam? I say some part of anatomy is really necessary. For example, if you want to understand the hernia, you need to understand the anatomy of inguinal ligament. If you want to understand the abdominal lumps, you need to understand where and in which quadrant what organ is located in the abdomen. These little bits and pieces of anatomy can be covered by YouTube videos or reading that particular point. You don't, you don't need to read the complete book, just these little topics that you want to refresh in the mind. Now let's come to all the tips and tricks that I learned throughout the month of my surgery posting and that will definitely help you in your own posting and the posting exams. First of all, attend the postings every single day. Sometimes the teachers may be busy, but if you keep being persistent, they will definitely teach you. Go to the patients check their files, take their history, if possible, do the clinical examination. If the teachers are not there, read it from the book and do it. If you have any confusion, ask them. Just attend the posting and try to learn and observe. Second, about the operation theater or the OT postings. In those postings, try to ask the scrub nurse or the students there about the instruments that they are using for the surgery, all the organs or the dissection or the incision that they are doing the technique of the surgery, how it is done, all the basic questions that there are. This will help you get a clear idea about the questions that are asked in the post and exam which are almost completely based on the practical knowledge. For example, they will ask you about the catheter that I use, they will ask you about the incisions that I use, they will ask you about the instruments, maybe the x-ray, for example, we had an x-ray of um, air under diaphragm, we had an x-ray of multiple air fluid levels. Something that is commonly seen in the patients in pre-operative investigations. The most important point and I cannot emphasize on this enough is that take patient's clinical history, do the clinical examination and present the case to the teachers. That's the only way you can develop the proper history taking and examination skills that are necessary for the surgery postings. If you really love surgery and you want to take it as a branch in the future, I would say take history of as many patients as you can, talk to them and learn how the treatment is in progress. Talk to the teachers and ask for management. It will help you develop the base as well as interest in this field. I love surgery and I tried and interacted with as many patients as possible and it was a great experience and an eye opener. You cannot learn everything from the books, but whatever you see and do in practicals stays in the memory forever. The next point is make a book on which you are going to write all the cases that you have taken in the wards as well as all the patients and operations that you have seen in the OT. 
make it as detailed as possible so that you can just turn up the pages and revise it right before the post and exams it will serve as a go to book as well as a guide to what exactly to read and what exactly the questions asked in the post and by the teachers in your college last level share with you my study strategy for the post and exam step 1 read all the important topics at least once step 2 revise these topics and make sure that you note all the clinical signs all the peculiar names of triangles like lumbar triangle of pete triangle of doom triangle of pain etc then uh, note down all the definitions which are frequently asked like definition of swelling definition of lump etc note all the laws like courvoisier's law is one of the favorites of the teachers and make a list of them just a minute and make a list of them like this in the paper on the day before clinical post and exam just look at the list and try to do an active recall of all the things that you wrote basically if there you wrote about the triangle of doom try to recall the boundaries and the contents of it and try to recall its significance if you wrote about some laparoscopic surgery try to recall its types its uses etc that way you can get an idea of what exactly the questions can be asked in post and exam and how you will answer them it will also help you sharpen the memory i know that some people like me cannot do it in one revision so or uh, i at least try to do two revisions before i actually go into the active recall phase because i am a bit of a slow learner this time in the post and exam i could not even finish my first revision so i did a bit of smart work the two most common cases that are present in the ward of gmc nagpur are hernia and carcinoma of breast so i tried and read only those two cases to the depths and then i i read all the other cases superficially and to my luck i got a case of hernia and i did very good in viva So sometimes when you don't have enough time just do the smart work that is all from my side about the surgery post and exams i hope this video helped you even a little bit in your studies if so please like and subscribe and of course comment if you want any more videos like this this is abhijit signing out happy studying